Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Mommy E, your favorite grandma. Today, I am making my reaction about a lifestyle. This is a continuation of our series about India. What is the difference between Indian lifestyle versus American lifestyle? Which is better? Which is worse? That's the harsh reality of life. Guys, without further ado, let's check this out. One, two, three. India and the United States of America are two countries which are progressive in their own way. USA, of course, is a superpower and India in the recent past has imbibed a lot from the Western ways of living. However, in this video, I'm going to compare the modern American ways of living with our ancient Indian oh, style of living America in seven major categories. India. I will also share with you my personal take on the matter so that we can get the best of both the worlds. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Starting with number 7 on the list are clothes. In India, it was always counseled to dress in natural mm -hmm. fibers that breathe. Specific clothes were even described for specific seasons. Cotton in summers, wool in winters, silk in rainy season and so on. Even the ornaments worn by women were not just for physical appeal but had a health aspect to it. Gold was known to boost immunity, silver to cool inflammation, copper mm -hmm. is antiseptic and so on. Basically, there was a full science of dressing for optimum physical and mental well-being referred to as Ayurvastra mm -hmm. in scriptures. However, the American style of clothing is mostly focused on yes. convenience and comfort, which is why they prefer synthetic fibers which do not wrinkle easily, are more durable and are mm -hmm. easy to manufacture. Then there is the climatic aspect to it as well. The tight clothing like suits, ties and shoes does help them beat off the extreme mm -hmm. chilling climate in the West. Indians in hot tropical climate were better off in loose clothes and chappals. Next on the list is food. For an average American, nearly two-thirds of his daily calories come from ultra-processed food, according to a study done at the University of San Diego. This is because Americans focused on convenience and productivity. Indians, on the other hand, have always preferred cooking their meals from scratch at home. The endless variety of Indian cuisine is an evidence of it. Even the harder tasks of procuring and hand-pounding the spices at home, preparing ghee at home were not uncommon. Indians have always considered kitchens to be no less than a working dispensary where different herbs and spices were carefully used not just to satisfy the palate but to ignite the digestive fires as suggested in the Ayurvedic scriptures. Another major difference lies in the food choices. American food is largely meat based. In the US, the meat consumption is at a staggering 90 to 125 kg per person per year, mm -hmm. a majority of which comes from red meats like pork and beef. On the other hand, Indian society used to be majorly vegetarian. Ancient Indian principles principles of food suggested that man being the most conscious animal on earth should eat food which involves least amount of violence. Eating vegetarian may seem as a backward practice at first, but in the recent past due to the spread of so many animal origin viruses, it actually seems a far-sighted thought. Mm -hmm. Now let us talk about the eating styles. There is a stark difference in the eating habits of ancient Indians and modern Americans. Driven by comfort and time-saving practices, Americans prefer eating sitting on a dining table. Whereas driven by health and spiritual goals, Indians would prefer eating on the floor sitting cross-legged. This asana is called mm -hmm. Sukhasana which is considered ideal to digest food. So, Americans find eating with to hands that. to be gross. They use sophisticated cutlery. Indians on the other hand understood that the fingertips literally charge the food particles which makes it get digested and assimilated better. Indians also practiced eating on banana leaf and plates made of sun leaves which are not only eco-friendly but also offer numerous health benefits. Americans did not mind eating in disposable plastic plates. Next is sustainability versus convenience. There are many distinct habits of modern Americans and ancient Indians that suggest that modern Americans are more inclined towards convenience while Indians believed in sustainable living. One is the preference of toilet papers by Americans to clean the bum after defecation instead of using water. 
washing rather than wiping is not only more hygienic and healthy but also helps the environment mm-hmm. in a huge way but wait a minute isn't water also a scarce resource for us of course it is but the disturbing fact is that just one toilet paper uses a whopping 140 liters of water to get manufactured after washing hands an american would look for a tissue paper while an indian would use a cotton cloth americans clean their teeth using plastic toothbrushes and chemical based toothpastes whereas indians always preferred the eco friendly and non toxic mm-hmm. wicks even for cleaning the tongue indians preferred the antimicrobial copper based tongue cleaners rather than the convenient but non biodegradable plastic ones then americans prefer mm-hmm. the convenient aluminum foils to wrap their foods ignoring the repercussions of it while indians always felt muslin cloths are a healthier choice as unlike aluminum they do not leach any chemicals into the food indians would prefer cool water from a matka rather than a refrigerator it is not a coincidence that you are less likely to catch sore throat when you drink optimally cool water from a biodegradable mud pot now let's differentiate the general ways of living an american would shake hands when greeting while an indian would fold hands namaskar. in a namaskar mudra this is one thing that the world has now started to appreciate the literal meaning of namaste is namaha that is i bow down to the Ooh. divine soul within you not only it enhances the feeling of gratitude but is also more hygienic unlike americans indians would always remove the shoes outside the house before entering it's another intelligent way to keep the germs at bay and even saves your time and effort in cleaning the house the way indian and western style toilets were designed is surprisingly a good way to understand the philosophies to the way of life of both these nations while in indian style there is no contact of the buttocks or thighs to a seat that could be unhygienic then it's a proven fact today that the closer we are to squatting the more easily we empty the bowels while the indian style toilet is more convenient for your intestine western style is more comfortable to sit at which led to its fast adoption next point on the list is areas of innovation there is no doubt about the fact that america has produced some of the most innovative products in the last century america is the hub of new products and is a heart of innovation across the globe be it milestone achievements in communication transport electricity or daily consumer products the american innovation has been driven to boost efficiency productivity comfort and materialism which in turn uplifts the economy on the other hand indian innovation was mostly focused on spiritual growth without compromising on environment or personal health it might seem a hard fact to digest now but indian innovation has been par excellence when it comes to architecture of temples be it the kailasha temple of ellora or the hampi temple whose mm-hmm. stones sound like musical instruments the unbelievable style of cooking food or the smartly built forts by the kings or the mysterious 1600 year old iron pillar of delhi which has not rusted yet these are few among the many riddles which scientists are still trying to figure out finally let's talk about the proactive versus reactive approach there are many ways one can conclude that indians were proactive whereas americans have been reactive in approaching health and well being for example india has always propagated the use of clay pots for cooking which retains the mm-hmm. maximum nutrition of food has no side effects and is also biodegradable on the other hand most americans use the convenient non stick cookware which surely would not make their omelets stick but the toxic fumes of the coating of utensil would definitely harm them in the long run according to american school of thought food is merely a combination of nutrients this has led to the extensive use of synthetic multivitamin pills in the west indians on the other hand had more natural ways integrated in their lifestyle which provided them with the necessary micronutrients cooking in cast iron pots kept their iron levels in check tin coating inside the brass cooking utensils was a way by which indians would get their daily dosage of zinc drinking water from copper vessels kept their copper levels to optimum and of course indians pressed on eating local fruits and vegetables because they knew that their bodies would assimilate the micronutrients from them much better americans today are trying to battle with their sleep issues depression and stress through synthetic pills for indians yoga was a way of life which would align their inner energies with the nature so that stress anxiety depression and insomnia were not more a concern even in money matters americans do not focus much on savings indians on the other hand spend spend less and save more for the future so we can see that american ways of living are short term comfort oriented with some having major trade offs in health and well being and ancient indian ways of living were driven by long term spiritual goals without any compromise on environment or health 
although it will be a hard pill for us to swallow that many of the ancient indian practices mentioned in this video may not fit in our urban lifestyle honestly how many of us can use cow dung cakes for daily cooking nor would we want to use cancer causing non-stick pans that west gifted to us so what is the solution like all indian practices are not impractical not all american ways of living are bad for health we can try to pick the best of both the world so that the whole package is somewhat practical with least compromise on mm -hmm. health like like for all the packaged products we buy we can at least make sure that they use safe and natural ingredients switching to twix instead of commercial toothpaste may not be a pragmatic option for many but least we can do is start using the safer ones including seasonal and local fruits and vegetables in our diet is fairly a practical thing to do likewise it may be hard for you to eat all your meals with hands sitting down on the floor but the least we can do is to eat every meal consciously with a feeling of gratitude in case of cookware we can easily replace aluminium and plastic stuff with our good old metals and clay pots similarly it may not be feasible for us to do yoga for 2 hours but at least we can do is start doing it for 15 minutes we can then tackle our modern day hurdles with smile and calmness Importantly we should not look at our practices from the eyes of the west many practices may seem backward at once but were actually far sighted indian culture is extremely rich in its own way and we should be proud of it i want to thank grow for partnering with us for this video we indians have always been smart with savings what would be even smarter is to invest our savings so that they can compound and grow for us grow is a new age free online mutual fund investment platform which makes investment easy transparent and secure. Secured. Their registration process is simple and easy. Since it is a direct mutual fund platform, there are no middlemen, no commissions, so you can earn higher. Grow has over 5,000 plus mutual funds available, and the payment options like UPI, debit card, and NEFT are pretty secure. One good thing is that through Grow app, you can track all your investments in one place. Moreover, the money that you earn will be instantly redeemed directly to your bank account. In case of any issues, they have an active customer support team to guide you. Grow currently has. over 5 million plus users and is highest rated on Google Play Store under finance category so you can download the grow app and start investing smartly so friends that's all for this video if you found it to be helpful please give this video a big thumbs up you can now support my work on patreon so that i can bring more well researched videos for you please do remember to subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me you can also follow me on instagram where i regularly do q and a sessions My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching. This video is an eye opening for most people, especially those that are not Indians. You see, uh, America is already a melting pot of many nationalities. And yes, I agree with this argument that the lifestyle of America is more geared for comfort and fast lifestyle. Well, the comparison of Indian lifestyle versus American lifestyle is the ancient Indian lifestyle versus modern That's kind of tone deaf because comparing a modern to an ancient way of life is a no match because I bet the ancient uh, American lifestyle is also very different with the modern lifestyle. Why don't we compare the modern Indian lifestyle versus modern American lifestyle? or the ancient Indian lifestyle versus the ancient American lifestyle. And for that matter, who are the ancient Americans? Are they not the Native Americans? And I have uh, more than 10 year experience living with the Native Americans, particularly with the Navajo tribe. And um, their ancient lifestyle actually is still existing. Also, in fairness with the Americans, there are many Americans already who are 
eating the vegetarian way and buying more organic but of course the non-organic vegetables are cheaper than the organic ones i see that the ancient indian culture is kind of similar with the filipino culture also the old filipino culture because entering a filipino house like this is a practice for 100 percent filipino household that we leave our outdoor shoes or slippers outside and we don't take it inside the house we all change to an indoor slippers and because of this pandemic times there is always a ready antiseptic there to spray on your shoes even if you leave them outside the door. Also about the coated cookware, there are already many households who are not using them. I, for one, bought a cookware that is made from titanium, which is really very costly, but makes use of healthy cooking. I think those are just the points that I would like to address. Thank you for watching. Hope you like my video and give me that big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button. See you on my next reaction. God bless you. I love you.